Hey, it's AK here from Nerd Boys. Um, before we get started, I want to make a big shout out to Interracial Gaming for letting me be a guest on their uh, show on Facebook. Um, I know Robbie says Facebook at the beginning and this is YouTube, but um, uh, this show is primarily on Facebook right now. As you can see, this is their page. Go follow them. Give them a like. Give them a uh, follow and everything. Uh, Robbie has a tiktok as well give them a look at before or after this you take a look at this video but this is just my guest spot on interracial gaming i hope you enjoy all right is it my turn yes cool let's see what do i get to pick oh man memories oh, i just memories. went back to 1993 the sega genesis controller the original three buttons before they revised it and went to six buttons where you had to press start on Super Street Fighter in order to switch to kicks. <laughs> yeah. Man, oh, that was a bitch on that. <laughs> oh my goodness. And Is that why I suck so bad at it? Yeah. Oh. When Street Fighter, you had to press start in order to switch to the kick buttons because these were always punches. It was light, medium, heavy punch, and then you press start to do light, medium, heavy kick. Nah, no, that makes so much sense. Yeah. Uh, good quality, good weight to it. Like, great for your hands. But again, it was three buttons, and they put fighting games on the Genesis that required more than three buttons. Other than that, dope controller in my opinion. I love the squish. Yeah. The button squish, the ABC button squish on the Sega Genesis mm -hmm. uh, is by far one of the most like mnemonic, uh, like when I do it, like I instantly just felt peace. Yeah, like, like Plant Man, you go back to playing Sonic 1, 2, whatever with that. Oh my Exactly. God. The spongy, the sponginess of the 8-way D-pad, the just... Yeah, besides the lack of buttons, it's hard to really yeah. say anything bad about it. Yeah, I don't really, like, this thing was a great, this is, was a start. Yeah. And it was mm -hmm. a great start. And there's so many good memories attached to it that I don't think that this controller could ever be tarnished. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, hey, okay, what you think of that? Oh, my God. Uh, a fellow Sonic kid. <laughs> my uncle had a Sega Genesis, and we had a Super Nintendo growing up. Mm -hmm. And when I say, like, just holding one of these again, it's just nostalgic as I don't know what. Yeah. And, um... You know, if you plugged in the original one of these into an Atari 2600, it would work. No, I no. did not know that. Mm -hmm. And so for like, the record, folks, I'm sorry. That is not the original. That is for the Sega Genesis Mini. But hey, it's still the same. But like, if you actually plug in a, 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 from a, out of the box yeah, one, it would actually box. work on its Atari 2600. I, I never knew that. that. I'm going to have to try that one. I think AVGN said it. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. All right. So... And I believe it is back to me. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> uh oh. And speaking. <laughs> thank you, darling. <laughs> I pulled out uh, the. I am already holding it backwards. The Wii Remote and the Nunchuck. Uh, this one's controversial to me. <laughs> so much boxing. Um, lots of boxing. Um. For me, lots of Mario Galaxy, yeah. uh, Zelda, Twilight Princess. Twilight uh, Princess. Twilight Princess. What I liked was this was one of those games where I found out I could put my arm over the couch and this on the armrest and just be like, ah, yeah. I'm so relaxed and I'm still playing. <laughs> you know. Um, but that was just one of the things that I thought was really cool. Um, I thought the Wii Remote got gimmicky at times. No. But yeah. sometimes it really worked because I can't tell you how many much bowling I did on Wii Sports. Uh, I never hit the 300. No, I always no. wanted to never hit the 300. Yeah. Oh my god. No more heroes with this thing. Actually oh, doing the yes. uh, suplexes and stuff. Um, Mad World. Mad oh, World. Man. Mad World. Why did I forget what, about Mad World? What else? What else? An another thing that. It, uh, what was the from? one from Ubisoft? Red Steel. Red, Red Steel. Steel. Yeah. Yes. That was a good one. Look, we all have our preferences, but like if you play Smash Brawl with this. Yeah. <laughs> More power to you, because yeah. I don't see how... Like, the only person <laughs> I've ever seen that was way back in the day, on the library days, and he should not be named, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, for me, this one was really controversial. I hated and loved this controller at the exact same time. This... Ugh, I, I don't know. I mean, like I said, they hit all the best games on the head. Other than that, I can't remember... Ooh, much that's, after that. Like, I was going to say, that's sad. Yeah, that, that like, was one of the best games to even play and enjoy. Yeah, that was one of the best selling consoles out there, but their li the library of what was good for it just. Yeah, it was a lot of shovelware and it tanked like really fast. 
Uh, I do remember playing. There was one fighting game called Tatsunoko versus Capcom. I remember oh. you had to, I actually had the Wii fight stick. It was seventy dollars, and right. you actually had to plug it into the back of this and then just sit this down, and you could still use the fight stick. It was weird, but yeah, man, the Wii Remote Nunchuck, Ugh, memorable, but for me, hella controversial. <laughs> Batteries, like Ooh, it was oh, the double A batteries. Like the I'm sorry, after a certain point, I feel like once we hit 2005, like I'm, I don't want to put batteries yeah. in my controllers. I'm sorry, I, that's just me. That's, that's fair, but the Xbox One does you do it, but I don't. You know, if you put real batteries in there, you, those last you like three weeks. Oh yeah, so <laughs> definitely. All right, Ooh, I'll, I'll, I'll introduce party. it, and is then you can. Party? Yes, that is a third party. That is from a company called Retrobit. They had a Kickstarter a few years ago, and they got their Kickstarter, of course, and they started selling them on Amazon. Those are only twenty-five dollars a piece. So if you need cheap, dope alternatives to N64 controllers, that's what I thought they was for. Yeah, yep. I saw the, the yellow buttons, and I'm like, this is a weird 64. That is for the yeah. N64. They have a Dreamcast version I just found on Amazon. That'll probably be in what's in the box three. Stay tuned. Imagine if this was the official 64 controller. Dude. I would have been okay with it then. Oh. Like, you still probably would have burned your hands with the whole Mario Party thing, but like, GoldenEye on this? Yeah. Just a matter, yep, Golden Smash Bros. I played Smash Bros. and Mario Kart with it. Mm, I might have to try this out. Yeah. Probably. Mm. I'm say this one will pack this past the other way. Uh, I got the privilege of uh, getting a peek at this before we started filming. Uh, it still feels good. I love it. Because that's definitely, that's a GameCube. That's a GameCube. That's, that's, that's a GameCube that's analog that's controller. Like GameCube uh, that is a GameCube analog controller and subsequently, I'm pretty sure, a GameCube deep Yeah, it looks like a GameCube. Uh, yeah. But everything else, like, it just... This is what we should have had, Nintendo. Mm -hmm. uh, not not the one with the weird dick, okay? <laughs> uh, I, you know, throw back to them in part one, you know, grab it by the dick. Mm -hmm. Now you don't have to. It's just two little cow waters like it should be. Right. Uh, but... Uh, still just ah, uh, that yeah. feels so much better. It really yeah. does. Like I like my time with these is it was it was dope like going back and trying Mario Kart, Smash Bros, GoldenEye, they all play phenomenal with this. If we could go back in time and replace this with the what we got, yeah, it, the Nintendo 64 would have been that much better. Like I said for you retro gamers out there, 25 bucks on Amazon, great alternative. If you, you know, maybe your 60 your regular 64 controllers are all trash. Great alternative. Check it out. Again, we are not sponsored, but Retrobit, if you're watching. Right. Retrobit, if you see this. <laughs> Look what we could do. <laughs> All right. Hey, means it's me. Yes, constant eye contact. <laughs> uh, we can skip over that. I've got the same one, so how about you come on back over here? Come on, sweet cheeks. This was the red one. I had to get this one for me because I like it. Ooh. Ooh. I'll give you a quick introduction as well. Yeah. Since I brought that one, that is the 8 bit dough controller for mobile and Switch. Uh, I play Castlevania Symphony of the Night on my iPad with that. It is a great controller. Uh, and now I'll let Robbie tell you how he feels about it. All right, now that I'm done van waiting for you, that's free by the way. Uh, <laughs> this, uh, this, uh, this feels, this actually feels really good. Yes. Like, Honestly, I remember when you took it out of the box, I didn't even want to touch it. I'm like, I'm going to save it for the review because mm -hmm. that looks weird. It's either going to feel really awful or really great. But this actually feels really nice. Like, this is... It feels like everything should be responsive. And you said this is for mobile and Switch. Mobile and actually, and I play Mario Kart with that on Switch. See, that's USB-C. Mm. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have to explain it for my job every day. It's ridiculous. But, yeah. This actually feels really nice. Oh my god! When I say I'm having flashbacks again, right? Yeah. Oops. Yeah. Um, <laughs> when I'm having flashbacks again, because my Super Nintendo, mm -hmm. we had this exact same design controller with the colored with the color buttons, and I know this specifically because I forever gave this to my little brother. I love you, Avery. Um, <laughs> it never worked. So, whenever we play Street Fighter, he always got this controller <laughs> to play with me, quote unquote. Yeah. Oh my god, it's look 90s at, again. Look at, <laughs> look at Big Brother doing what Big Brothers do. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, like I said earlier, guys, when I introduced it, really dope controller. They're very easy to use. They last for a very long time. Pause. 
Um, <laughs> 8 Bit Dope did a really good job of melding a more modern design with the analog sticks, you know, with the classic Super Nintendo, of course, being to me one of my favorite controllers of all time, one of the best design controllers of all time. Literally every controller that came out afterwards was based off of Based off, exactly. Yeah. So definitely, uh, also check it out. They've done an Xbox One version for your phone because Xbox is doing the whole game X-Cloud. pass mobile. I want one of those bad boys. Oh, yeah. Like, so bad. Microsoft, if you're watching, it's on my Amazon wish list. Well, we've had. That's it. We'll do it. I'm glad I got this one. Mad cats. Look at me. I wish I could zoom in on this guy. Look at me. (laughs) Y'all about to get it. (laughs) If you only know how mean, how many of these me and my four, me and my three other cousins went through. These were twenty dollars. We used to get them from Topps Trade Center. We damn near had to buy one every other week. Because we love Smash Bros. Melee, all of that good GameCube shit we all know and love today. This was the most trash controller on the planet. This was Joy-Con drift before there were Joy-Cons. You could use it. It was good for one weekend. That's it. We get a good Smash Bros. Mario Party, Mario Kart session in, and then the joystick was drifting on Monday if you tried to use it. I swear to God. You got. I love you guys now because you make fight sticks and you. you, you I see you don't make controllers anymore. There's and a I know reason why. for that. There's a reason. <laughs> there's, an obvious, there's an obvious reason. But you know what you did, and you have to atone for that one day. This was bad. Didn't Mac has made that weird 64 controller that was like it was also like dickless, but like it didn't work. Yeah, they, <laughs> they know what they did. They were. It wasn't just GameCube. They were doing these all across all three systems, Xbox, PS2, and GameCube, and a couple other little side systems, too. They did, like, they did N64 ones, but you know what you did, and you have to atone for it. But it's really crazy, because, like, when I got introduced into uh, the I'm not FG- going to slam that, because that's a glass table, but I wanted to When I got throw. introduced into the FGC, and people kept talking about, oh, I'm going to get me a Mad Cat's uh, fight stick, I was like... Gross. <laughs> I'm like, there is no way in hell they're still talking about Mad Cats from back in the day. Mm. And then he turns out like, yeah. And then Sonic Fox is like uh, sponsored by them mm-hmm. and Mad Cats. I'm like, there's no way mm-hmm. that they're still talking about that same company. Lo and behold, they are. Talk about a 180, but Jesus Christ. Yeah, <laughs> it is ridiculous. And the microcons were the worst. I have fat hands because I am a large man. Uh, so the microcons are definitely your Whopper Junior hands type people. Um, Around the block, when I worked in the video game retail industry, uh, we used to refer to these guys as Mad Craps. Um, And that is my official review, AK. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, like I said, like, the Mad Cats had such a bad reputation back in the day. Like, if you gave gave this to that cousin you didn't like, you gave this to the uh, person up the street that you were forced to have fun with, Mm -hmm. you know, the the crazy kid that always broke stuff, you gave him this controller. Mm -hmm. You know, um... I don't think we ever actually used this because, like, it was a gift. I don't forget yeah, when. It, it, it's always a yep. gift because somebody says you need a controller for your system mm-hmm. and they go find you the cheapest one. And, and it's and it's always mad. It, it's so crazy how we don't went from this to this. Yep. But whew, ugh, no, never, ever again. Mm-mm. That's why they were so cheap. You, you, will atone, every 12 minutes. Mad you will atone for this sin. And don't think I forgot about the memory cards, too. Don't think I forgot about those. They lasted a week, one weekend, too. Your data was corrupted on Monday when you blew up. Don't think I forgot. I, I want to throw this, but this is in my house. Pepper's <laughs> well, I remember. <laughs> Coming soon from the makers of Robbie Rance, Shakes Shit Talking. <laughs> Bring it to me. Yes, I'm going to say something weird every time you give me the box. Pause. Thank you. Oh, no pause. Unpause. <laughs> All right, now that I'm done flirting with the box lady. Another one uh, I brought, uh, real quick, introduce the Hori Wired Fighting Pad for Xbox One, Switch, and PS4. 40 bucks, they're really good. Yeah. FGC stuff? FGC stuff, yep. They're, they're, uh, beat em ups in fighting games are the only thing I recommend you really play them for. Um, there, there's a Switch one around here somewhere that also, it work, It actually does work for Smash because it has three different settings. You can set it to left stick, D-pad, or right stick, and you can actually set it to left stick, and it will play. I, I, I use Smash. I use it for Smash. You know what um, those uh, mm. those fight sticks, uh, fight pads always remind me of? Anybody ever had a Sega Saturn back in the day? I did not. I missed that console. I My cousin had one. Uh, my cousin had somebody come over to the house and break it. 
So they gave him the money to replace it, but he said there's no good games for it, so he bought a 64. There you go. Well, um, Sega Saturn vibes. If yeah, anybody ever definitely. actually had one of the uh, one of those, that's one I immediately it goes to. Great for two D games. It's yeah. not just for mm -hmm. fighters. Like you can play uh, like Symphony and Night. Yeah, so your, um, your side scrollers. Your side scrollers. Oh, yeah. A lot of those. Mm -hmm. And Hori is like one of the apex. Fuck you, man. They're the opposite uh, to Mad Cat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one of the best people to ever do third party yeah. controllers. Mm -hmm. If you ask my opinion. Yep. Oh. Uh, yeah, like I said, great controller. I own this one and the Switch version. I haven't invested in the PS4 version yet, but yeah, good controller. Check them out. Okay. All right, that is shake. My turn. Oh, right. <gasps> we're getting low, aren't no, we? No, that was it. The last one. I'm sorry. I should have put this one in there too. It was the doubles. We've reached the end of the box, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Switch version. Like I said, I play Smash with this. They do work for Smash Bros. That's uh, what she said. Somebody has to say it, right? <laughs> I was trying not to, you know, get that low hanging fruit, but just, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we want to thank you guys for coming by. We want to thank AK, our special guest, for coming in for What's in the Box Part 2. Before we go, AK, you want to send some shout outs there? I'm sure you got a few things you'd like to plug. Uh, Tell people where to find you. Yeah. Um, Nerd Boy Spot Podcast, spelled B O I S. Please check us out. We got um, everything is the same on uh, Twitter. Uh, YouTube, we got IG as well. Uh, check out Nappy Head Millie. Check out Liquid Skies. Shout and, out to those guys. And yeah. um, then uh, uh, Ali started channel too. I think uh, yeah, Ali did. Art of Ali. Ali. Check out the homie and Ali. I think that's about it. I think off the top of my head. Yeah, I think off the top of my head. Um, if I forgot anything, I'm sorry. Just <laughs> beat me up later. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> But all right, guys, this has been What's in the Box 2. What's in the Box 3 will be coming probably, if not the end of this year, probably sometime next year. But we'll have a lot more controllers, a lot more weird shit for all of you guys. Thank you guys for stopping in again. Shout out to the homies Robbie J and AK of the Nerd Boys Podcast. Mad Cats. Mad Cats. <laughs> Don't think I forgot. You're going to atone for this and those memory cards. I'm coming for you. Ooh, leaving your uh, game on all night. See you guys next time. Triple S, Shake Shit Talk Concessions, coming soon. <laughs> <laughs>